Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Lena's Inception. Um, so I restarted on this save file because um, I'm pretty sure that I got to a thing that like essentially locks me in place, and I can't go any further from there. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, so I got like essentially stuck in a certain place. Um, and I attempted to keep recording an episode in Brahmastra, but it just didn't work out. And I think because of the weird nature of the generation, um, because I have never seen a roguelike like this before. But in some cases, I think you actually cannot progress. Especially if you use a seed that the game isn't like ready for. Like Brahmastra, which is uh, not an English word. So I am using a seed that I found on the internet uh, that some guy used for testing how the game works. It is the seed Astra, I believe. So yeah, there's that. Um, it's been a little while since I recorded the original Lenny's Inception. Jeez, it explodes. Interesting. What is this now? Amulet of Strength. Lift a heavy object. Uh, right. So... Okay. Neat. That opens up a lot of uh, space to go. You can kick them into the puddle. That's funny. So as for what's going on in my life right now, um, uh, also semi-related topic, but I might upload the older episode. I might not. Cool. Okay, so I can pick up heavy objects, but not really heavy objects. Yeah, these things are pretty strong. Okay. Okay, I've already fought this guy. Fuck. I should really stop trading him. Hmm. Sorry, I'm focusing in hardcore on this fucking thing. There we go. A clue! Oh, it's a blueprint. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, so yeah, a lot of the dungeons contain these like little mini dungeons that only have these rooms in them. Oh. Right, 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 right. I forgot that I'd been in this room. Prior. What? Oh, you can get them like stuck on the. That's really cool. That's a neat mechanic, I think. <laughs> Alright, so where are we heading? This way.
<sighs> oh boy, here we go. I have an urge to see my friends again. I know it's actually been not too long since I saw them, but I, I don't know. I feel like I miss them. I'm worried about those fuckers. So just let let it be known that if you're my friend and you're watching this, I'm worried about you, you fucker. I recently uh, missed a doctor's appointment. That was cool. Uh, it's still the pandemic, and this doctor's appointment was scheduled months ago, and somehow in the six months, no one noticed that it was a uh, appointment scheduled in person. I can't go be there in person. <laughs> For a lot of reasons. Like, uh, one of my roommates works at hospital, and the other one is explicitly um, immunocompromised. I've got a weird immune system. It used to be good, but I've been having problems with it recently. So yeah, I don't want to, so I just, I just canceled it like a minute before I was supposed to actually go. Cause I'm hoping that'll be, that'll make it obvious that like, Hey, I'm not going because I didn't show up. I, there's, there's a reason, there's reasons. All right. Ooh, puzzle. So I'm thinking I'm going to play this in a long, long episode. I'd love to be able to get through this game like quicker. Not because I don't want to enjoy it, but uh, I've got a lot of stuff in the schedule. But yeah, here's hoping that everyone enjoys this. Nice, nice. Stop it. There's loot in here. And also Crabman. Bosky. All right, that's that's everything, right? Yeah, that is. And away we go. I yeah, showed my wife this game. She seemed really interested by it because of its beautiful art style, its fun uh, aesthetic, and uh, what I am pretty sure is like a, a sapphic love. I'm cool with that. Rock Noggin, Archangel Head Draniel. You're not her, I'm not a fan of this. Oh, I see what we got. Oh, fuck. This, uh, this actually is starting to remind me of, like, a, uh, of Goof Troop. Goof Troop, uh, the Super Nintendo game, has a lot of, oh, it sucks me in. Has a lot of boss fights and mechanics involving, uh, bosses throwing stuff at you and you catching them or throwing them back. Throwing his fucking organs into this pit. What a what an interesting and cool mechanic, honestly. I thought I was supposed to be throwing it at him. Beautiful music as well. <laughs> uh, dude, that's your, uh, that's your, uh, torse? That's your torso?
Do I have to wait for when he's sucking? There goes another one. Hell yeah. Probably gotta throw one of these in him, huh? <gasps> Wait, I know. There we go. Okay, so if you hold forward and throw, you get a better throw. So yeah, I did the, the apparently the first boss is the same boss every time. Uh, and we actually already got this cutscene, I believe. This power of stone I'll create new disciples. I'll never be alone. Now that I've got all the human souls. So yeah, that guy is apparently always the same boss, no matter what. And like, it makes sense. He's such a like tutorial boss, you know? Ba -do -ba -do. Help me, Lance, help me. I'm in the palace dungeon. I think we already got this. All right. Where the hell are we going? Well, now I can pick these up, so that's cool. See, so, yeah, I was unable to get through here uh, as Alfie, but in this playthrough, I have a lot more to go and do, which is cool. And here's another pit, Illustrated Caverns of Remorse. Brown skeleton. Ah, Baku. Slimo. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm poisoned. That's not good. Easily fixed. Hell yeah. See, these things aren't actually that bad. I've been doing a few of them and like, they're not too scary, you know? Luckily this guy's still dead. Uh, I'm bleeding out here. That's uh, that's particularly not good, I would say. Okay, cool. When you regain your health, you regain it uh, pretty quickly. I don't know why I'm killing him. I don't really need to. I feel good about having this ability. It opens up a way more of the world way quicker than I would have thought. Runny orange potion. Just OJ. Um, that's not where I wanted to go at all. See, so yeah, this is basically where I left the game world last time. So I've got all of these. So shield, claymore, Damascus, katana, and silver shield. Or what was the first one actually? Tungsten? Yeah, tungsten sword. And then I was looking for the shop, I believe. I wanted to go see the shop, yeah. All right. Betterman. Um, yeah, I'll grab one of these. Brown silk. I can come back and grab that whenever I have lots of monies. And now I will head to the library. Derelict house. School library's up here. All right. What's up, girl? Paige, I think her name is. Paige, yeah. You found one of my books. Keep it up. I'm sure someday we'll have them all back safe and sound. It's technically the tallest building in Aster. It has the most stories. Uh, you next dungeon is the Pond of the Destined Dragon in Quang in the West. Cool. I already know where I'm going, then. I mean, I did already know, but... So I want to see if I can now head south. 
Okay. Okay, I can't. Ooh, a library book. Uh, Dr. Bones. I think we already read that one. Oh, fuck. I just realized that, like, because I actually did a decent chunk of this uh, in the episode that isn't going to be posted. Oh, what if I just post it unedited? <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah, because I did a, lo a, a little chunk of it in, like, unposted stuff, like, I can't exactly remember what I did in the first episode. This is why I hate having lost episodes. It's really bad for me. For my memories. Knock me into the fucking water. Alright, well, let's go, uh, oh, right. Let's go this way. Um, I imagine that I'm going to get a water walking. Oh, yes. Yeah, water walk seems like it'd be uh, pretty befitting. The bicycle, I gotta say, pretty fantastic. Okay, Blake Smith. Man, what if there was a blacksmith and his name was S Blake Smith? I think that would be pretty crazy. Outrageous, even. Hello, Bates. Ooh, another one. Yellow Grottoes of Depression. Sounds like my place. Um, I actually have a... Quite a few... Oh, two of them, huh? Oh. This really reminds me of the first boss of Demon Souls, the Phalanx. For those who don't know, uh, the Demon Souls remaster actually just came out. The Phalanx is a bunch of little blob monsters who all have shields and swords. Archangel Ventricle, nice. Yeah, it's a bunch of little blobby goos with uh, spears and shields, rather. Uh, and they all attack you all at once. Oh, I want that. How can I get this? Uh, I actually don't want Bruce this time. It was okay, but, you know. Can I get... Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, that brings me here. And that brings me... Okay, that's where the, the thing fell. Let's see if I can't grab something while I'm here, actually. Uh, I've got five, so let's get a silver shield. I mean, I guess silver is better. That doesn't actually make sense, because silver is a much, much softer metal than uh, gold. S uh, sorry, than steel. Since plat all the precious metals like gold, silver, and platinum are all very, very soft. Even bronze, to a lesser extent. Ooh, we got another one. Tunic. It's a strength tunic. Nice. I liked having the strength tunic on in my first run. I feel like that was a really good thing to get, especially so early. Oh, it defends! Like, it actually blows shit back. That'll make my life hella easier. Library book. I think I've already read this. Okay, I'll come back to that whenever I have the water walking boots or whatever. I assume I'm getting water walking boots or maybe like freezing boots. Jesus moccasins, that sort of thing. Man, everything that Jesus had is like a holy relic now. Because over here, the Shroud of Turin, it's Jesus's like blanket shirt. And, like, it's holy just because it is. 
There's allegedly, um... Some of Jesus' hair. That's a holy relic. Uh, I think Durandal, the sword. Um... Yeah, I think Durandal the sword is actually, allegedly contains one of Jesus' teeth. Uh, a molar, as far as I know. Yes! Alright, third dungeon. See, I did the first dungeon because that's always the same. Uh, and I think the Zeroth dungeon is te technically separate, but it is also uh, the same. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. All right. Don't have a lot in the way of map. Oh, shit. Did that out of order? I really like these very simple block pushing puzzles. Like there's this thing about SNES games that are just, especially like the Zelda likes, they're just so satisfying. <laughs> like I like pushing those puzzles around. I like getting cool items that help me affect the game world in different ways, you know? I like the feeling of being a hero and you know, Going off to save shit. And Lena's such a cutie, you know? I don't know if she's actually a lesbian, but I don't care. That's my head cannon. Look. <laughs> As a queer person in this day and age, I can't let cannon stand in the way of my queer enjoyment. <laughs> you know, you gotta go beyond cannon. Just like the Huss would have wanted. Mini boss. So I noticed that it uses the same attacks that I do. And in fact, now it's even throwing rocks at me. And then it summons the uh, the buff upgraded um, monsters. That was a smoking deal. Fish leather short. See? I knew it. Oh, look at her. <laughs> oh, the chicken. <laughs> oh, 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 it's so cute. Look at it. <laughs> Okay, fish leather short, so now I can swim. That opens up a lot of the game world for me. I can see why this uh, this seed, Aster, uh, I can really see why it was used for testing stuff. Because you get the strength glove, and then you get the, uh, the boots right away. And I know that they aren't technically boots. But they went on my legs. Orange potion. Um... And then what else did I get? I think I got the 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 lighter, and that is yeah, the lighter is what allows you to break ice. That's what I got in the first one. Man, this is great. Play for what twenty minutes? I feel I feel a lot of progression. This is a, this is a good seed. I want to shout out to whoever thanked this. I I literally just pulled this off the Steam forums. I don't know who that guy is, but you know what? Backbone of our community. Bring it on. Alright. Check my map like I'm playing a Silent Hill. The strength tunic is also really useful as well. Spider. Okay, we got more. I love how they have smiley faces on their back. For those who don't know, that is a real variety of spider. I still wouldn't recommend you look at it if you're an arachnophobe. Uh, however, it's a very cute little, uh, it's a cute little spider. They just happen to, like, naturally grow a uh, spider, like a, a, a smiley on their, on their big spider butt. We got these guys again. Okay, already seen these. I 
I'm, I'm really proud of the devs for managing to capture this feel so well. Uh, dungeon map, nice. And what's more, they captured it in a way that was so true to the source, despite being randomly generated. It's so, it's so clean. Boss key. Can I bike here? I can. That's awesome. And that's nearly everything. Well, why don't we just go back here and finish out this little part? Every time, I often, uh, I, oft I, I did this in the off camera as well, but I seem to pick the wrong door. So I, I, I go the right way first, which is not what I actually want. Alright, Sand Thug. Library book! Uh, yeah, we already saw this one. Alright. Smoke and deal. Oh, I've really got to sneeze. Why does this have to happen now? Okay, so we're swimming. Serpentine Dolphin. <laughs> it's Sand Dolphin! How long can you hold your breath, human? Okay. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to reflect stuff at him. Ooh, I really like I really like the 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 way he's drawn with like balls. That's how a lot of SNES games ended up looking with uh with mode 7 and stuff. Ooh. Where's it coming? Okay, now swim away. The big explosion. Damn. It's still above now. Okay. Fuck. Oh boy. This is a lot. This is a lot to take in. Okay, um, wow, we're right here. That's good. So is me dying like a, a, a significant thing in gameplay? I love, I love that it's Sand Dolphin, the Serpentine Dolphin. Alright. So this is the easy phase. Damn. This is an aesthetic of video game that a lot of people don't use anymore. I really kind of miss it, honestly. Where's it going? Nice. I love that. Just that wake up flash hit. Oh, his cheek, his cheek is bursting. Because he has all those stars in him, he pukes the stars out, and that's how he fights. Oh, that is. Okay, so first of all, that's really reminiscent of the uh, the Mega Man soundtrack, or uh, Metroid, like, Metroid has the da na 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 do da do Crap Memory 2, so have I seen this one? I might have. Pizza. You did well, Tentalicus. How about we order some pizza as a treat? Pizza, yeah! When you're feeling down and you need anesthesia Just cause I forgot her time and it was pizza Triple five, forty-five, forty-five Calls only ten per minute Terms and conditions may apply You should hide before they get here Let me eat you. Arg. Human. Sorry, Tentelicus, no treat today. But on friend, one day soon the world will be ours. And then you can eat all the delivery people you want. <laughs> I will save my progress. So this is a game that is relatively aware of the fact that it is a game. 
Um, and normally when you got something like that, you end up with like an Undertale where it's like, dude, the game is the game. And those in recent years have started to tick me off, if I'm being honest. Uh, JK rolling it. Ten years in the making, the seventh and final book in the Clay Cram Clay series brings the story of our beloved clay worker to a tragic water end. All of Clayton's hard work and persistence in the previous book pays off. Is the success really worth the trouble? As Clayton's latest pot design takes off, people come to him far and away, bring money and demands. At first, Clayton manages to keep up with their shreks. Requests. His small business grows rapidly to a globe-spanning empire. An earthquake destroys a critical warehouse, tripling the company. People keep coming. The pressure to deliver becomes too much for Clayton. He must escape. On a remote desert island, Clayton finds a priest respite until the Apache helicopters, jetpack bears, and invisible cruise liners arrive. Feeling cornered under pressure, he walks into the ocean to his doom. In total silence at last, Clayton speaks his final words. The answer to the question nobody asked. Ashley the Potts just magic the poop away. But it was hard to hear him well, since he was trending at that point. I in hope you enjoy the tale of the harried potter and the deathly shallows. J.K. Rowling it. Author, philanthropist, retroactivist. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really clever. I hope whoever wrote that's really proud of themselves. That's really good. Oh, we got upgraded skeletons. Of course, I am, like, beefy busted strong, but, like, you know. Oh, if I hit the, uh, if I, if I match the attack button, I think I swim quicker. It's meant to be a dungeon around here. I should take a look around. Saw a duck come in for final attention yesterday. Had a large bill to pay. Psst, hey, my investment business in dire straits. I need some property quick or I'll lose everything. If you help me out, I'll let you have the briefcase and its contents. This is interesting. They didn't teach me about this at business skull. Yep, I'm the one and only Dr. Bones, kid. It's $10,000 for an autograph. You can't afford it. I have a side job writing financial fillers. Maybe you heard my novel Back to the Futures? As the critics would say, it was a bit derivative. See, that's what you do whenever you have a bad pun. Just double down. See, you new here. Up here is where investors buy and sell stocks. Anyone can do it. Deposit some money into your investor account. My colleague on the left will help with that. Deposit as much as you'd like. To remember my monitoring, uh, the amount you can withdraw is limited to 999. Huh. Hello, Lena. How can I help you today? Let's start with that. One. Okay. I thought it had gone down already. Price should shoot up if you get three of a kind, or go up a little bit if you get a coin or two. Anything else gives a loss. Henrietta is mad. Guild puts restrictions on cath withdrawals. Oh my god. What is happening? Okay. Let's try this. So it's a combination like stocks and slot machine. Okay. Okay. This is bizarre, but kind of interesting. Oh, nice. It's a gambling minigame with a twist. <laughs> I'm... I'm kind of taken aback. Right. Shoot up. Okay, okay, that's what he meant. So yeah, it's 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 a stock exchange combined with. Please queue this way. Nobody's serving customers. Maybe they'll be back later. 
it's a gambling mini game combined with stocks. That's actually kind of interesting and awesome. Oh man, this is a great game actually. My issues that I had earlier about um, the like soft lock that I had, uh, those have been washed away. Can we get to this fool now? So thirsty, I can't move. Can you bring me fresh water? Oh, I, I found this guy already. Um, thirsty person. Oh, jeez. I'm missing a lot of health. Luckily, I've got this bitch in strength. Uh, hello. Thank you. Needed that. My desk is disorganized. So I read about this. This is a, uh, this is, there's a really long trading side quest here. That guy needs, yeah, that guy needs uh, a white, no, he needs a blue potion because that potion is apparently just water. Oh, Jesus. Um, and that lady needs a paper clip. Uh, see Cooley. Arrived in the city late Thursday afternoon. Weather's auspicious. This is with the mayor's greeting. It seems the news of an approaching... Oh, I already read this one. What about you? What are you, Mr. Train? Uh, and now I can go over here, when I couldn't before. Lots of chameleons. I'm really juiced about the games that I'm just playing. Lennis and Shepson is really cool. I'm gonna be playing uh, Doom coming up. And I'm gonna be playing XCOM soon as well. And I'm also currently, I think I should still be playing Halo and Far Cry for everyone. Those should be uploading. Okay, so that, this area is done now, right? Actually, let me double back and just make sure. Okay, so there is a way to get down, but I can't go there from here. And now I can get through here, though. And this just leads to here. What about you? Now I can go down south. Too many birds. Does that lead somewhere? I don't know. And then this leads over here to another upgraded skeleton, but I can't get in there. Fuck. And then this leads to these birds, which leads to here. Phew. All right. Let's grab some of the hearts here. Oh boy. New item, 50 bucks. Cool. All right, so this is all done down here then. So level three is, yeah, it's this one. So if I could, I need to be able to get through the rocks there. Or I don't. Wait. Okay, yeah, so that's level four. Um, then let's quick travel back to the librarian. Because I have need of her. Found six of my books. I'm sure someday we'll have them all back safe and sound. Sometimes when I meet someone I don't like, I like, I don't know how to tell them. I feel so shelf aware. Looks like your next dungeon brother lies tomb in the west. Found six. Okay. Oh, man. This game's soundtrack is so wondrous. Oh, that's pretty smoking.
All right, uh, let's see if I can buy anything at Mr. Bear here. Um, okay. That's the blue potion there. Uh, so I can now pick things up, which means I can go here. Okay, I don't know if that does anything for me. Hmm. And then this is the derelict house, yeah. Okay, I think someone's knocking at my door. Hopefully Rat Boy can get it. Alright, sounds like they can't. I'll be right back. Hey, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, some maintenance people showed up. Our garbage disposal hasn't been working, among other things. Alright, so where the hell am I heading? Yeah, right? Wait, fuck. I'm hitting the wrong button. It was really funny. One of the guys started talking to me about my, uh... He called me in here. He was like, sir? And, uh... I was like, yeah, sure, and I came in there. And I, I, I assumed he had some question asking me about our water heater or something. Since that would make the most logical sense. And he points at our automatic cat feeder and he's like, can you tell me what that little white thing is over there? He was fascinated by it. It was like, it was super funny, actually. So this is the dungeon, yeah? The guild LLC. Central Bank of Aster. Cue this way. Okay, I've got a few more coins. Oh. This is new. Best thing about being an undead investor is all the bone uses. Bonuses. Bone uses. There's inflation, I think I'll invest in balloons. Customer support. Okay. I can swim in the blood. <laughs> Sucker. So that's a black rock, I guess. Okay. Chairman's office. No entry. They call me the chairman, but I'm also the entire board of directors, the CEO, and the majority shareholder of the bank goes down again. It's unusual to make it anyone this far past customer support, especially while running a skeleton crew. It's supposed to be no coincidence you come today. You're here for the prince, aren't you? Ah. That would be the dungeon, huh? Um. So yeah, it was built on top of... So they built their bank on top of a dungeon. That makes sense. I love the idea of skeletons involved in laboring. Come here, you little bastard. If ever there was a time where I was missing the Zelda-esque sword beams, Are those bombs? Bombs. Throwable bombs of destruction. And they've automatically equipped themselves to that. Cool. And it looks like they also just drop his random loot. So I should be able to put them there, right? <laughs> now that is a good ROI. ROI is short for return on investment. Okay, so that's the boss room. So we'll have to come back here with a key. The boss is probably gonna be weak to bombs or something.
Oh, I'm, I'm poisoned again. Shit. Um. Is that a potion of good stuff, or did I just double poison myself? Sorry, I had to itch my face. So I've got to watch out for the snail trail. Red tunic. Blast protection. That's cool, but I don't need it. I just did that. God damn it. Shaded caverns of loneliness. And that poison is no joke, huh? So the issue is, is that now I have to remember where all the rocks I saw were. <laughs> Die trash. You guys again, huh? I remember the ability that you can do to... Hell yeah. Yeah, there's a thing that you can do to... You hold down shift and you keep facing the same direction so you can strafe and walk backwards. Which is hella useful. This is a really good game, y'all. Oh yeah, so the maintenance guy, he asked about my cat. And about my, like, cat feeder, and he, like, talked about the cat tower my wife picked up. Turns out he owns a cat, so we talked about that for a little bit. That was rad. This one flies slowly. <laughs> nice. Monies. It looks like 20 is the max. Ooh, Chakan got some damage. Meteorit. Uh, let's see Borat. We have three meteorites. And this put us out somewhere completely different as well. Oh, hmm. Every door locked, huh? That's just peach. God damn it. I was hoping to not step in that shit, bro. All right. This is a big dungeon. <laughs> a cracked wall. I will plant a bomb here in the traditional style. Oh, and the wall even vibrates to show you. Hey, you can throw a bomb here. This is some fucking Bomberman shit right here. I'll tell you that for free. first thinking gotta remember my shield okay now this place looks fun oh that was surprisingly simple I wonder if I can trade in the shield for a sword. I probably should have saved it, but like, honestly, that fucking, uh, that shield's been really useful. Whoops. 
You can hurt the chicken. Get out of there, squawks. Henrietta, that's her name. All right. Okay. Uh, let's head here. This is just a hallway. Interesting. Okay, and then that side's all locked off. So I'm guessing that that... I'm guessing that this thing here has the key. Okay, and then we go here twice, because I want to see the empty room. Oh, wowzers. Thank you, I needed more bombs. Two just talking to each other. Book, uh, Penny Chase, Prince Daniel the Third, Pastus Palace East Aster, Your Majesty. It's mentioned in my letter. I write representing the Guards Union, members of underpaid in your service. Union demanded payment the last five months by the tenth. No members have received payment. Several letters requesting payment have been sent your way. This is the final notice. If they don't receive payment by the 10th, members will be forced to walk out and seek new opportunities. The chairman of the Bankers Guild provided them with offers. Best regards, Penny Chase, as in she chases pennies, as in she's, you know, after money. Though in this case, um, it looks as though that was an intentional coup. Since we know that uh, the prince got kidnapped, likely because he didn't have any guards, and that the Banker's Guild was in on it, apparently. Okay, we're going this way now. Oh, we gotta do the puzzle again, though. Let's clear these fools out. Come on, try your luck. I'm a school teacher with a pension. Oh, yeah, it's him, of course. Archangel Tentelicus. Eh, hey, gross, you're human, get away. Interesting. Yep, okay, I thought that's what it was. Oh god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Okay, yeah. Well, that's okay, we're right here. Big noise. Come on. Okay, so now would be a good time to learn how to use bombs. So when the bubbles pop, bombs fall out of them. Okay. Much better. Clean. Hmm. Shh. 
shoot. Okay. I imagine I'm supposed to be throwing a bomb to his- Oh, I have to be walking forward with a bomb to throw it. Of course, I'm a ding-dong. That would also be why I keep taking damage. Okay, yeah, kind of thought so. Now I've got it, though, right? That should be easy now. Subterranean squid. Pyramid, etc., etc. Man, what an awesome game. So it looks like each little bomb drop gives me two, which is good. Now we got three of them. Four, in fact. Shoot. The thing is that they just keep giving me <laughs> bombs and not hearts. I also keep hurting myself on said bombs. Yep, there you go. This is the first boss I've really had to bang my head against. It's got a lot of cool mechanics, though. Okay. So first he shows up, and then he barf. Oh, god damn it. I gotta stop doing that. Jeez, oh Pete. Okay, now how do I avoid this? I just have to watch his trajectory, I guess. Yeah, it was making that a lot harder than it needed to be. It looks like I can knock him out of it with a bomb as well. See, I know that you definitely think you want to kill me. Nice stubble. Haha. <laughs> oh, I got hit again. Okay, you can't hit him out of a bomb. How about I take a little break on recording and try to bang this out? Hey, I'm back. Um, so... Yep. Shit. Of course, the second I start recording and talking, then, uh... The second I fuck up. As is the case. So if you don't kill these things fast enough, they actually just go away. And you have to... You have to just deal with another round of the boss. And that, uh, that sucks. Game's still good, that's just on me, you know? Come on. Of course, this is the third hit, and as is the rule, that should be enough, right? Yeah, it is. What the fuck? That's, uh, that's... 
Okay. This is totally different. That's uh, that's totally new. So if I start the boss th here, do I just go in with... Oh boy, okay, well, maybe I can do it this time. Bad practice. Yeah, you can just block these. That's kind of the best way to do it. Yeah, my main issue is that I keep, um... I keep hitting myself on my own bomb. And when it's time for this shenanigans, um... I, I usually take a hit just because I'm, uh not good at the video game. I don't need to pick up the bombs because I'm full, but I know people like to see it. Oh, that didn't count? You bastard. Come on. Oh boy. Okay. And then it's eight, I believe. So this should be the whole boss. Yeah, this is the issue with having bosses like this, where it's like three hits and they die. You know, as is the style. Because like then it's, it's, it just can sometimes can become tedious for some players. And the more of it you gotta do, you know, the longer that it is. Because these guys have been multiplying by two every time I successfully hit the boss. Shoot. So you start with... Oh, come on. So you start with, um... Can I just swing at him? No, I didn't think so. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. To be perfectly honest with you. Oh, they hit me. God, they home. This is... This is... This is real bad. Should I let it pick me? No. Uh, okay, I think I got a bomb in there when it was... <laughs> uh, that was Harry. Crap memory three. Crabadon. Crabadon. All right, Crabadon. Let's see what you've learned. Weak spots are the claws and in the mouth. It's good. So, so we're gonna fight. What should you not do when fighting the hero? In a fight. In a fight, I open claws and mouth. Arrows bad. I eat them. They're tasty. <sighs> Hell yeah, I'll save my progress. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Lance, I'm scared. The champion replaced all the palace guards with skeletons. In case it'll make it, there's something you need to know. One file attachment. Open attachment? I think both of those said yes. Power of compassion. One of the fabled four powers. The power you discover ways to end conflict without violence. You remember the way, right? The bridge of the east. Hmm. Oh, I think I see what I've got to go, what I've got going on here. Okay, so yeah, what I need is, I need something that'll open up all of these things at once. Oh, that just brings me back to here. Liquid assets. Bankers never die. They just lose interest in living. So long that I'm <laughs> turning profit, I'm getting withdrawal symptoms. 
had an accountant at my, with, with the Bank of the North Pole until they froze my assets. Ha ha. Okay, and this is where we started. You won't catch me. Fat bastard, get back here. Okay, and then we're heading here. Here. Sorry about the confusion. 16 bombs, family heirloom. Oh, I can't buy that tunic anymore. I guess it's because it's, uh, I found it. Fair and or square, nice. Feeling good about seven hearts, I'll tell you that much as well. Leave it is up there. No living in the cave is glabrous. At least the elder gets his own home. Le livre. Talk to me. Found seven of my books. Keep it up. I'm sure someday we'll have them. Alex seems up. Patron asked me on a day yesterday. Told him I was fully booked. Looks like you visited all the dungeons in Westchester. Tried looking east. Should be a bridge. I'm working on it, girl. Okay, that part's blocked off, but I should be able to go down from here. I won't miss that one coin, I'm sure. Okay, so here's where I use a bombo. And I need two. That's interesting. I like how bombs only really start to spawn at a certain point. That's cool. I like that. So I might not even see the... Um, I might even not even see all of the all the stuff in this playthrough. Like, I might miss that one thing. I've got 200 and... Okay, so... If I go here... Hold it! There's no escaping you, is there? I'm gonna make you pay for what you've done. Do you prefer notes or coins? What? I mean, I'm gonna hold you accountable for taking the prints. My accounts? You're welcome to audit them. I have no interest in that. You should get a savings account, then. You really want to fight? I was hoping to save my energy for Lance, but this shouldn't be too taxing. Wait, it's you. It is, isn't it? Why are you getting in my way? What? <laughs> Made 22 bucks off of it. Oh, help. Are you gonna kill me? What, don't be absurd. Lance, save me. Lance isn't coming, he's a... Uh... My God, you killed him? It was an accident, I was giving a tutorial. I feel awful about Lance's death. I'm trying to put things right. Wait a second, you... You have taken Lance's place as the hero? I guess so. Ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Fuck you, kid. One day I'll understand the cruel joke fate is playing on us. The name's Devlin. I'm the Elder Acolyte. The chairman is winning. Removing the prince was just the first step towards the dark future he wants to build. Now he sees power, you can yada 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 yada. Stand down and when the Archangels attack, actually wait. If you eliminate the Archangels, maybe that'll never happen. There's four more lurking over there. Give me your phone. You looted this from Lance? Here. Till those archangels will speak again. What about my school? Will this fix the chaos and corruption? Your school? Uh, yeah. Let's kill the archangels and your school will be fine. I don't know if I should trust him. What would Lance do? Well, uh, the answer is blindly trust anyone, because he's an idiot. Oh, so there's just a hard divide between these two. Interesting. Oh, and there's a change of music, too. That's... that's funny. No, Bruce. Alright. Panda, huh? 
be comfortable being a bear bear if only that zoologist kept away. She keeps staring at me through this monocus. Can you find me a shirt to wear? Oh yeah, this is that long trading side quest as well. Twenty bucks, nice. Jaime's house, don't disturb, no explosions allowed. Stop. Did you just blow up my door? Those bombs? I can see you're a gal who likes combustion. Find yourself in a spot where detonation won't do, try a hammer. I like that. Oh wait, right. Cool. Okay, so let's give these a shot, huh? No effect. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, those will destroy the special rocks. That that there is a dungeon, I'll tell you that for free. And it still damages enemies. Good. That's what I would want. Um okay, so let's head left first. Hey, I notice that the music is getting a little uh, a little fucked up as it were. On that topic, um, I'm hoping that this doesn't go for like another Undertale twist. Hmm. Okay, well now I can quick travel here, right? And that's level six. Actually, why don't I cut the episode here? And we'll come back and do the next four the next time. So yeah, I've been Alfred. Uh, this has been Let Us Inception. I'll see you guys next time for what is probably going to be the finale. Like I said, it's a short game, but you meant to replay it a bunch. Um, so yeah, um, bye.